Hi, I'm Scott, CEO of GitBrother. Today, I'm gonna to talk about squashing commits. So if you have a whole bunch of commits that you wanna make one commit or squash into sort of several commits into one commit somewhere, um, I'll show you how to do that in Git, in vanilla Git, and then I'll also show you how to do that in GitBrother. What we're gonna start with is a fairly common scenario. I'll actually show you a couple different ways of doing this in Git. Um, but this is a very common scenario since, you know, Git doesn't really record history the way that, that Git Butler does. What a lot of people tend to do is do work in progress commits, right? So there is some sort of save points. And then at the end, you kind of want to squash them down into something before you share it with somebody else. Um, or it could be that you're doing sort of a fix up or something like that. So let's go ahead and look at squashing things. So here we are on a branch and we have a couple of commits on this. In case you're not familiar with that syntax, it's the same as saying, What's the difference between the branch that I'm on and origin main, right, or origin master? So this shows us kind of on our branch from sort of where we branched off, we have three commits. And you can see that the first one is, you know, some actual feature. And then I decided to change something from 50 to 20. And then I decided actually, I actually want to make it 30. But really what I want to do is I want to squash all of these down into a single commit that is just 30 instead of these differences. So if I, I you can actually see kind of what I've done here. If I do dash P, so just kind of change this from 20 to 30, kind of change this from 50 to 20, and then this is actually a, a larger change. Now let's squash them down. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. The sort of clever way is to say git reset soft origin main. And what this does, if I kind of look at git log, I'm back on origin main, right? So it kind of just moves the pointer of where the branch that I'm currently on back to where I say that. But what it does is it essentially uncommits everything. Okay, so now what I want to do is, let's look at our status again, is kind of unstage that. And now I can sort of add whatever. I, I mean, I could, I could reset all of it, right? So now I can add my app stuff if I want to and then see what's left. And now I have two different commits where I used to have one, or you know I could just do one commit or whatever. But like what reset will do is it'll kind of uncommit everything back to some known, known point, usually it'd be like origin main or origin master or something, and then you recreate the commit history, and it just lets you restage and recommit everything from scratch. So I just reset hard back, so rewound history. Let's see another way of doing this. Another way of doing this is, of course, to use rebase, dash I, and that's going to give you a pick list, and now you can squash stuff together. So you can either squash, which we'll show you what that does. Here, I'll just write it out. Or what you can do is you can fix up. And the difference is squash will ask you uh, to sort of combine these two commit messages, and fix up will simply squash it in without using this last commit message at all. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the first squash, right? Um, so we just want to use that. We don't really want to use that one. So we're really kind of doing a fix up, but we could say and stuff, right? And then the second one doesn't even ask us. But now if we actually look again, we only have one commit with all of those changes in it. So it doesn't look like the other two commits happen. So this is a really good way of sort of squashing in or fixing up work in progress commits that you had made all together into one. So that's vanilla Git. Now let's see how to do this same basic thing in Git Butler. So in Git Butler, it's a lot easier because everything's sort of drag and droppy. So it should be fairly clear how to do these things. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. So we have basically the same thing here. We have the same branch name. We have three commits in the same order. We can see this one is you know an actual sort of feature. This one just changes it from 50 to 20. Uh, and this one changes it from 20 to 30. So what we want to land on really is 30, right? So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you could do this. You could sort of squash this one into this one and then squash this one into this one. So you can see here what you end up with is the 30, right? So it looks like that was just the original thing. You squash them all together. Now, in this case, what you probably want to do is modify this commit message because it's going to just sort of put them all together, right? So let's change that. Or let's rewind. The other thing that you can do in this scenario when you have these sort of fix up commits is you can click squash all commits, which does the same thing. So you can always take a branch and kind of squash it all down into one commit if that's what you'd prefer to do. The other thing you can do, just undo that real fast, is let's say that we had not committed this yet. 
And so this is sort of a work in progress that we're on. And we say, I want to squash this into this, and then I can just go ahead and drag this and amend this into this. And so it's just kind of squashing the working directory work into an existing commit. Now, the final thing that I'll show you is let's say that we have a second branch that's applied. So it has its own commit. You have your commits. We can squash these down, right, if we want to. We can drag this over here if we'd like to. Get rid of this. And we can even take these and, I mean, we can, you know, rearrange them. We can also squash them together into a single commit. So now this one has the readme changes in it as well. So it's very easy to kind of move work around in Git Butler, but it's very, very easy to squash things together. So that's squashing commits both in vanilla Git and in Git Butler. Happy squashing.